She's a nice woman. Oh, Nina, see my God, you go. Where are you? Edwin. Those two rascals you brought into this house are back. The two stupid girls that lost their pregnancy through miscarriage and was admitted for a week. Now they are back, killing each other outside. For reasons I don't understand. When they're in the hospital, we have peace in this house. Now they are back with their trouble. Edwin. Hi. Mom, I wish they would remain in that hospital. Honestly speaking, those girls are leaving my house. First thing tomorrow morning, I don't even know why you're stressing yourself. I concur with you. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. And failure to do so. I'll get the law involved, and I mean it, this time around. Good. Mom, mm -hmm. why would you concur to such a thing? Why wouldn't I concur to such a thing? Keoru what are they doing here? I don't go back to where they came from. All right, in that case, we have to compensate them. What? Excuse you? You said we. Who is, who is, who is we? What sort of stupid conversation are you talking about? We must send them away. Let's give them little money for their trouble now. Oh! Like I care? I, I don't understand. Do I look like I care? Mom, you can imagine. Edu, what do you even take me for? You think I don't have sense? Eh? You think I'm a fool? That I fed those girls and then allowed them to sleep under my roof is one thing I regret. You think I don't have sense? See, eh, first thing tomorrow morning, those girls are leaving my house. If not, they will not like what I will do to them. Rubbish. It's he don't get it, Chelsea. Any signs here, he get up a more. Go to my temper, baby. Go to my temper, I'm on you. Go why was his face like that the moment I said Sukira and Kizaya are going to leave my house tomorrow morning? <laughs> Those girls have to leave my house. Else this marriage will end. Nonsense. Hello, Hello, How is everything? Babe, they are back home. Oh, you mean they've been discharged, eh? Yes! Ah, where are they now? Those girls are back in They are fighting themselves, Daddy. Can you beat that? Again? Now they're fighting again. There's something wrong with those girls. Something is wrong with them. Yes! Is this fault? Maybe those girls are leaving my house first thing tomorrow morning. And it's fine now. They are leaving. I love the sound of that. They should go with their troubles. Eddie is to be blamed for all these things. Nika, Eddie has really turned to something else. Though. Face. I don't even understand that reaction. Could it be that he still wants them around? Yes, that is it. You must be sleeping with those guys right under my nose. I don't know what happened in my house again. Hmm. There is something wrong with it. Huh? Why would he prefer those set of dirty girls over his own wife? My question is why? Why does he go for such kind of girls? Why? I'm telling you, Minka. 
Honestly speaking, I'm telling you, this thing is breaking me. Well, I'm happy at least those girls are leaving my house tomorrow morning. Let them go. I'm tired of this whole drama. These people, they want to kill me. You know what? I have to go. Yes, I have to go now. I'll call you back, okay? <sighs> me too. I will see you soon, my darling, okay? Take care of yourself. Sit down. Sit down. No, no, mom. Sit where? On my couch. Do you know how expensive that couch is? No, they stand. They stand. Why is I tell them the reason I call them? Sir, sit there like this, now. Fear let you go command me. Man, I know it's not for the couch. This couch is where they are. Man, no, it's not for your couch. Say the couch is expensive. It costs. What did what did this couch cost? It cost past me. Continue. There's no problem, I'll just go straight to the point. <clears throat> um, the reason we called you, or the reason I called you here, is because we've come to a conclusion. The both of you are no longer needed in this house, hence you have to leave this house. Um, Sikiratu mm -hmm. and Kezaya, please by tomorrow morning you have to leave my house and go back to wherever you came from. Thank you. Ah. Hey, hey. Give us a phone. No, 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 no. Say make we, no, no. That make me Sekira to leave this house. For who? Sekira, so I'm sure that I made my point very clear. Your point no clear anything, sir. I know get where they go. This is your job, this is your real side, they do now. You never go move market. I made it clear in a simple language. You have to leave my house. That's it. No, where are they go? Ah uh ah! -uh. Kill a day. If anybody go, go. If anybody go, go. Ha! Ah. Asama. What are you saying? Nothing is going to go see. Nothing is going to see. What I am trying to say is, we have had enough of the troubles. We don't need it anymore. We need to restore the peace that was once in this house, and we cannot achieve that with you but I am. not saying it was in the peace. Nothing is going to go here. But the problem is not busy. Go be to a fan for us. I told me go out. You see the peace, you're fine. <laughs> Sure, I will give you peace. You will rest in peace. Sekirato, mm -hmm. if you don't leave my house, then you are forcing me to get the police involved. Of course, I'm going to get the police involved. Get the police. Yes! Yes! yes. Call the police. Involve the police. We involve the police. You are the police. Put the outside gate. I go there. Mm -hmm. Kezaya. Sekirato. If by tomorrow morning you don't leave my house, oh. I promise you you'll be chilling in the police there. Carry me. You do carry me. Carry me, Hey, anyway. <laughs> you know, anyway, I don't get where they go. If I talk, I don't get where they go. If anybody go leaves. <laughs> You know my problem? Is our husband part of this arrangement? 
Ah. When that one starts? Oh. Why may you begin the plan? I'll be your friend. Oh, okay. That question you ask, my mommy you ask, cannot be me. I'll be your friend. Because what I'm saying, why is he not here to tell us by himself? Why that barren woman? Are you mad? Eh? Who are you calling barren woman? It's like you don't have sense. <laughs> yeah. Ask her, don't they give inspiration? Oh, but that be what's that on? <laughs> Am I the one you are talking to? Don't be there, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. My bed, you Eh? It's like you want to cry. You don't have sense. Tomorrow, don't leave this house. You too. You'll be cooling off in the cell. You go cool off for me. Go find your lap. I know so you get plans. Ah. You go find your lap. If you see the hungry, you go apply rub. You say no, no. <laughs> mommy. Tell me, mommy. Can you shut up? You are saying all this nonsense in my presence. You don't have respect at all. Without fear. Let me see. Ah, ah, ah. How about if you leave this place? Leave this polo! Enough! What kind of nonsense is this? Leave! No, they told me to help. My husband has a day. So, why you go and show me for ya? Yeah. You go and go for this house. You see that thing like this? Let me see if I don't get out of the polo. You broke my yellow. Hey! Can you stop? You will be the one. Leave! Mm. Mm. Okay. I don't tell you say this ass. Can I rise for Buna? My destiny is this ass. Now he can go. I love. If I'm in the bed, two good mothers will buy us. I'm going to get my Go! Take off the game, Tishi Munch. You will go. When I take you, see now. Go. Hey! 
from big man house man. This man come go they do a boy thing. Go they do it for some mess. That one a back one that been a strong word. Anyway, my customer is gone. They will not miss me. Stop no love. I think I get and walk. I get talent.
taste is no longer ordinary. Eddie goes about sleeping with dirty, miserable things. What is wrong with my husband? Who has sworn to destroy Eddie? Now I can no longer walk the street with my husband without one low life coming out from nowhere to accuse Eddie of sleeping with her. I mean, all the dirty looking miserable girls in this town know Eddie because he patronizes all of them. Just, 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 just imagine. Imagine that banana seller coming out to... to So we need to be careful. Let's Are you go. sure, babe? She's not acting like she's a beggar. She's acting like she knows you. Eddie! Ah! Eddie! Ah! Why are you doing like this? Eddie, it's me! Cheese up! Cheese up! Cheese up, baby! Ah! No, just hold on. Just wind down. Let's, let's hear what she has to say. It's not necessary. She's babe, a please just wind down. <gasps> Eddie! Like this now, you don't know me. Cheese on the bananas crasher. But where? Uh, uh, from Chicago Hotel. Have you forgotten? These beggars, this is how you build. Stop, Stop now! Stop now! Stop now. Uh, I'm the one that gave you that Gloria. What? 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 God now. have mercy for you. Ah, you were scratching me, I was crushing you. God have mercy on you. Leisure before business, yes, I will go. He's on heat, yeah. Sugar, get no more. You can't tell me you don't know this girl. You can't tell me you don't know her. But she's the one that actually gave you the gonorrhea you infected Hello. me with. No! I say. I said. Babe, I stop. You can you just stop lying? Stop lying. She was the one that gave you. Did you know, hear what she said? She so wants to believe a total stranger, baby. Hey. You want to believe the total story? Babe, why will I not believe her? The fact that you're lying is what is even getting me angry. You yeah, did it! She's a beggar. That's how they behave now. They will be probably want to want to. Before you know it, they will want you. This now West is on fire. This now a hollow. Fire, fire. My waist is on fire. Any house, 
General Officer of Children of Light Church International. Oh, you're welcome once again. Thank you very much. So, what can I do for you? Uh, actually, I need a visa to United States of America for a crusade. Ah. Yes, and I mm -hmm. met your secretary, and she said the portal is closed, and I insisted on seeing you. If there's anything you can do for me, please. Well, of the truth, the portal is closed, huh. but um, let me see what I can do since you're here. Oh, thank you. Um, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, did she give you any form to fill there? No, no. Edwin. 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 I have called you three times. For getting me pregnant and denying the paternity of my child. For calling me local and dirty. And for leaving me to go get married to another woman. You will never hear the cry of a baby in your house. You will continue to follow local and dirty girls like a man on heat. You will spoil your own marriage with your hands. I have said it and so shall it be. Man on it. Edwin. Ah. Sorry for the intrusion. What's your connection with Edwin? Edwin is my husband. Is there a problem? Spirit. I am sure of what I saw. You are sure of what you saw? What did you see? I don't understand. Are you, are you okay? What is going on? You want to divorce your husband because of his lewd lifestyle or sleeping with local dirty girls. You will be doing yourself a whole lot of evil if you leave that man.
鳄鱼。Eddie actually sent you here to come and build on his behalf, isn't it? I am a servant of the Most High God. I don't know your husband. I have not met him before. Can I meet him? Can I see him? I have a message for him. It is very important I see him. To have what what is about to befall him. I see. So what is that thing that is about to befall him? What is it? A girl you would take to Chicago Hotel to sleep with oh. will eventually stab him to death. What? Pastor, are you serious? Uh, uh, no. No. No, Pastor, please, I beg you. I, I, I don't want to lose my husband. Please, I beg you. W what can we do? A cause was placed on him. And that cause needs to be averted. Can I see him? I knew it. I knew this was not ordinary. I knew this was not ordinary. Uh, Pastor, yes, we can, we can see him. Oh, please, I want to beg you for something. Please. You have to follow me to my house, okay? I'm going to call him and he will come over. Please, I beg you. Please, please. I beg you. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Okay. Husband is already in the arms of the one. I want to take him back. Hey, what's that though? So? The girl is on an assignment to murder him in cold blood. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Hey, he's not picking his call. Can you please pick your call? And and Pastor, better stay. Let's go to Chicago Hotel. As as usual, he's not picking. Please, let's go there. It's pointless. Call him again. Hey. Up this time around. Okay. 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 God, please save my husband. I don't want anything to happen to my husband. Please. Please save my husband. I don't want anything. Maybe pick your call. Big, big, big. Hello? Hello, Eddie. Where are you? Please, I beg you. Leave whatever thing you are doing right now and just come back home. There is somebody that wants to see you. I beg you in the name of God. Tell him to check the pillows. There is a knife under one of the pillows. That is the knife she wants to use to stab him to death. Check, check, check the pillows. Yes, one of the pillows. There is a knife under one of the pillows. Please. Yes, the person you are with now, she has been sent to kill you. Just check, just check. Hello? 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 Oh my god. Pastor, you haven't let me go. Don't worry. I said don't worry. You will come almost later. Okay. 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 No problem. Driver, can you just be fast? Be fast. I need to get home. Just be fast. Be fast. I don't want anything to happen to my husband. Okay. Okay, madam. Teddy. Okay, madam. Okay, madam. Okay, madam. Okay, madam. Okay. Okay. Sharon, you're welcome. Thank you, Mommy. Peace be unto this house. Oh, welcome, Pastor. Thank you very much. Um, Mom, this is Pastor Kane. Pastor Kane, this is my mother in law. Oh, God bless oh. you, Mommy. Pastor, you're welcome. Thank you. You, you may sit down and make Please. yourself comfortable. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Mom, I need to call Eddie. Okay. Pastor, welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. God bless you, Mommy. Bless you too. Edwin, who is pursuing you? Jesus Christ, Lord. 
Oh. What is this? Who is pursuing you? Oh, Who is pursuing you? Narrow escape. It was really a narrow escape. What? I saw everything that happened at that hotel suite. Huh? Were you there? How did you know? He what? gave the prophecy. He said that the girl you took to Chicago Hotel to sleep with was paid to kill you. Jesus Christ. So where do you see how they got to carry a girl to the hotel? After all this? Eddie! Eddie, you know Brother Hedwin, who is in kitchen here? I, I know kitchen here. What? Yes. Mommy? Wait. You know what has been going on with your son all this while and then... Did you didn't say anything about it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me tell them who is in the kitchen here. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you can do such a thing. So you know the reason why your son has been acting up, he has been acting, acting so delusional and then you, you, didn't, you didn't say anything about it, you kept it away from me. Hello? Hello? Where is mommy Charity? Mommy Charity now, the one where they go Jehovah Witness. Oh! Mama Edwin. Yes now, now me be the Edwin. Eh? You are Edwin? Where is she? Hey! Hey! So, sorry, sorry. What sorry. happened? Sorry, don't be angry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just a behind of uh, Edwin, Edwin. I didn't know you were a person. Sorry, don't be angry. Sorry, eh? She, she stays in our compound here. Easy. Turn around, let me see. I'm wash okay, I'm I'm washing clothes. You know where she is? Yes. She stays here. What's what's your name? My Nkechinere. Nkechinere. Eh. Okay. Take me to her. Okay. Eddie. It's time you change this house. This house is not, it's not good at all. Now that you have money, I have something different for your mother now. Yeah, Mama, your point is valid, okay? But calm down, I'm not gonna be so. Once I'm done, I'll get you for good. So just give me a little time, eh? Please, this house is not befitting at all. It's not befitting. So how are you uh... Uh, doing about your business? Yeah, everything is going on well. The project is going on well. Okay, that's good, my son. Eh? God will bless you. Oh, I'll be praying for you. Your mercy, God will bless you. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eddie, because that thing I've been telling you. Uh, it's, it's time you settle down. Uh, it's time you get married and settle down. Um, mom, you're right here, yeah, but. You're bringing another spirit, a total different spirit and time. Don't know what you're venturing into. I can't do it, not do So I need to tread carefully. Need to consult spirituality to avoid mistake. Let's be sure of who we're getting in ourselves involved with. And I have this project I have to know. So once I'm done with this project, I will be happy. I'm just being careful to avoid mistake, oh? Name no, mama. It's okay, but have it in mind, oh? Let me change this house.
man's heart is a deep ocean of secrets. Oh. Mm -hmm. No network for your face. What did that happen? Are you okay? No, I'm not fine. What is it? I'm pregnant. Joke of the year. Be serious. What do you mean be serious? I'm pregnant and I'm carrying your child. How can I go carry belly without permission? You decrease. Starting when? You have no right to take in without asking me. Baba Afa, you make I take in, I be just a play. Stop that nonsense. Huh? But you 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 said you were going to marry me now. You you took my virginity and, and said you were going to marry me. So you, you believe whatever a young man tells you? Even when he's in the mood of playing? Okay, you want to arrange that all that? I will marry you because I took your virginity. Look at yourself. Look at me. We'll be the same class. You're dead to your local. You're, 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 how on the carry you come out? So if they say, where my baby, baby mama? I go point you. Don't you have respect? Stop that nonsense. Go and flush it, terminate it, kill yourself, I don't care. You have no right to take him without my consent. You have no right to conceive without my permission. Ah. I should flush it? What, 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 what if I die now? What you, if something happens to you me? You should have thought about all that before, before t -t 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 taking it. I just play, go take it in the mud. I tell you, I'm born. You cannot blackmail me. You cannot blackmail me. This is not fair. It's your child. I'm pregnant. This, this is not fair now. Madam, you have no right whatsoever to be pregnant without telling me. Ah. In fact, get get out of this place. Eddie, Eddie, please now. You're pregnant. How can I? You asked me. Eddie. Come over here. Today's evangelism is wonderful. Thank, Thank wonderful. God. Hi. The Holy Thank Spirit God. took charge. Yes. Huh? Thank God. Everybody, they were just. Giving their, their their souls to, to Christ. Christ. Ah, heaven heaven is rejoicing. Hey. In fact, God will be dancing on the Wham! Right hey. now. Hey. I am sure this Jeez. coming Sunday, yeah. eh, our church will be filled to the brim. We will even hire chairs. Pastor will be very happy. Yes, now. Hi, evangelism team. I I I am a jacka. I am a jacka. Hey, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that charity? Uh -huh. Your son, Ed Edwin, is back. Ah, to the glory of God. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but why didn't he come out for Uzioma today? Hi! Nemo, you can't believe this. My son has been so busy. on Rukarere. He's been so busy going here and there. But don't worry. He will settle down. He will come. He just came back. Sister Chari. Yes, eh? Sister Chari. He has been so busy eh. that he couldn't come out to do his father's work. No, he will come. His father that took him there. Ah, he's now so busy, he couldn't come out to do Edwin his work. cannot forget his father. You know, you, you know we are ambassadors of Christ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And our love for Christ is top notch. Okay, uh, well, please. Uh, even in the Bible, the Bible says, Seek him first, the kingdom of God, and every other thing yeah. shall, shall be, be added unto, unto him. him. It's a version I know, and I didn't even know he it. He knows it. He knows it. Oh, He's always saying it now. <laughs> oh, I go Bible. Please, try mm. and make him come for Sunday school. I will. Huh? Try, I will try. You know we are ambassadors of Christ. Uh -huh. Our love for Christ is top notch. Uh -huh, now. As such, we should always carry our family members along. I'm carrying my own along. Huh? Besides, Edwin, no this Edwin mm. has always been at the forefront when it comes to evangelism. Thank you. A good preacher. Yeah. A good the preacher. The way he focuses on the word of God, mm. preaches the word of God, it has nothing to compare to it. So what? Can they hear me? I don't hear me. I don't me. This is a ban of No, he's a preacher. I don't want him to do a now. When he's done, the preaching in him will come out and go. He's a preacher, born preacher, from infant to now. Preacher call. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll tell him he will come. Okay, let's be on our way. Okay. Uh, we are okay. trusting God though oh. that he will join us this time. God Sunday. is on the throne. Continue uh, evangelizing. Uh, 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 Thank you. Oh, uh, continue evangelizing. Oh, uh, heaven will come through for you. Oh, uh, heaven will meet you up. I don't know the one. Is it okay? Eddie, my son. Eddie will come evangelize. My Eddie. Eh? Hey, well, How are you? I'm not fine, Why are you not fine?
I'm, I'm pregnant for your son. Hey! How dare you accuse my son of such nonsense? How? Edilman, it's not possible. I'm, I'm not lying. You can ask him. You cannot deny it. Ask him what? Ask him my ask my son what? No, my son cannot do this. Talk this of getting you in a family way. It's not possible. It's not my Eddie. What can mba? What's that nonsense again to me? I I just came to tell you that. Your son should get ready to marry me because I cannot lose my virginity to him in vain. Hey! It's not possible now. Edu cannot do this now. Edu, of all the girls in this place, your room kitchen here, Mbani, hi. Edu cannot stoop this low. But it's less than a month he came back. How is she pregnant now? Edwin! Okay. Let me wait for Edwin in the house. You come back and meet me in this house. Go to that corner. You have to come back and take full responsibility. You have to marry her because of this pregnancy. What are you even saying? Okay, she's not your type, but she's good to sleep with. Did you think that she was not your type when you slept with her? What? That was. I'm waiting for you. you have to come home and take the responsibility of this situation. I'm waiting for you. Okay. You got a girl pregnant. You abandoned her. And then you deceived me into getting married to you. You're sorry. Oh, you're sorry. So this is the reason why you watched the whole engagement thing and then I stated it out to you. But I didn't say anything about it. Uh, where is Nkechinyere now? She's in our former area. Married. Not yet. The babies? I am my husband too, Nkechinyere in. And she delivered a set of twins, boys. We were hoping that Eddie would come around, but he never did. Ironically, we lost the babies and Nkechinyere left. dealing with so many demons in my family. And believe me, Mom, you're part of it! I'm sorry. Mom, so you knew this? You knew that your son committed huge crime like this and then you, you concealed it away from me, Mom! <sighs> no. No. Inkechinyu replaced a course on Eddie. Ah. On a three-road junction at midnight. Ah! 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 That's it. He called her Loka and Dirty. He will continue to sleep with Loka and Dirty girls. Like a man on the eat. And also, he will keep putting these girls in the family way and not his legitimate wife. Ah! I'm sorry. I told you, but it did not Look for Chinyere. She is the only one that is capable of lifting this course of Eddie. Eddie, I told you this. You didn't believe me. Oh God, oh God. Oh please. Eddie, stop. 
His irrational behavior has a link. It has a link somewhere. Okay. How can Eddie do such a thing to his fellow human being? That is wickedness. Babe, how do you mean it? 
do you know that Eddie's mom is aware of what is wrong with Eddie? She knows? Of course she knows! She knew all along and then she kept quiet about it. She didn't say anything to anyone. Hmm. This type of information is not pleasing to the ears. What kind of a mother will watch her own son's life being destroyed and does absolutely nothing? This is unbelievable. It's unheard of. Totally unbelievable. I mean, everything that has happened to my marriage, I blame it on Eddie's mom. As a mother that she is, knowing fully well where the problem of her son is coming from, she decides to just watch. She didn't even look for a solution to avert the whole thing. She just sat down and then she watched. What kind of a mother is that? Hmm. Hmm. This is unbelievable. Like I just said. I've seen, I've seen hell all in the name of marriage, Nika. I've seen hell! I find it difficult to believe you. That you did a thing of this nature. You got a woman pregnant and then you denied everything. And all along you should have told your wife what was happening. My life is completely messed up. Yes. Your life obviously should be messed. And you should be blamed for that. My parents and siblings tried to make me take responsibility. But I declined. You declined. You see, honestly, for me, I, I wish I know what to say to you. I wish I know what to what advice to dish out to avert this whole thing that is happening right now. I think you need to find this girl. Find out whatever she is. Beg her. Ask her for forgiveness. I think that's what you need to do right now. No. I can't face in Kachinya. Not after all I did to her. Messed up big time. I am glad that you've come to realize what you did to that girl. You got that girl pregnant. What did you do? She took in without my permission. She took in without your permission. The same girl you abandoned gave you a twin. Two boys. What did you do? Suddenly you went into the thin air. You vanished. Eddie, you closed your heart against your family. You closed your heart against that girl. Stop the pretense, man. You know you were the one who killed those boys. Who knows if you didn't vanish, maybe those children might be alive by today. If you didn't do what you did, they might probably be alive today. But you vanished. You're mean, bro. You're fucking mean. Nkechinya is not good for you. And yet, you went ahead and convinced her into giving it to you. She opened her heart to you, my friend. But in your heart of hearts, you know that what you did is inhuman. What you did, it's... It's, it's, I don't even know. What, what gave you that mind? Yes, okay, fine. Nkechinya was not good enough for you. But yet you went, you cajoled her. You convinced her. You lured her to open her heart to you. When she did, what then did you do? You broke that heart. Viam! You were gone. You vanished. You took that girl's virginity, that innocent girl's virginity, and then you promised her marriage. She opened up to you. My man, you so mean, man. I lied to her. I lied to her because she was not giving in to my advances. Oh. So what happened? 
Yeah, it's fine. You lied to her because she wasn't giving to your advances. Okay, she now gave in. So why didn't you fulfill your part of promise to the girl? Why didn't you follow up? Since you're an honest person. Viam! You disappeared into thin air with Sharon as an opportunist, Ebono. Why you don't want to go too? Okay, let me give you one reason. At least let's go and beg her so that you'll be free. So you'll be able to have children. So you can make babies for your husband. Is that not enough reason for you to go with me? But I'm logic. Free. Yes. To be free from what is happening. Oh God. I mean, the last time I checked, I don't have a problem. Eddie is actually the one who has a problem. So he should go fix it himself. Oh no, it's okay. You don't want to go, and he doesn't want to go. Don't worry. I am the mother here. I will go and beg her so that I can see my grandchildren. Give me logic. Eddie is there giving his own logic. I am going to do it. Don't worry. Go upstairs, relax, and have juice. Stop asking me so many things. I'm trying to help, and I'm not even seeing the reason why I'm doing it. Mama, I don't know why you're making it look like my fault. I said it's okay. Of this whole drama, she be the one here begging and not you. Yes. 
I understand. I understand your point. He should be here. But please forgive him. It's the same reason he cannot stand you. He knows that he offended you so much. Please, I beg you. Mm -hmm. So he's hiding his face in shame. Take this message to him. Tell him that I said as long as he continues to hide, he will remain in perpetual bondage. Hey, I said so. You know whatever affects Eddie affects me as well. Please, I beg you. He's, he's behaving weird. And he will continue to behave weird. Please, not stop. Please, continue. I beg you. My son is going through a lot right now. Yes. He's no longer sane. He's running away from death. I'm begging you as to do my Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Am I Eddie? Yes. Are you the one talking or something is just talking to me? It's me. It's me. It's you. Yes. You are the one talking. Yes. Your son got me pregnant. Your son abandoned me. I gave birth to my set of twins. He did not come to the hospital. We came home. We got to the house and this man did not show his face. All to their death. And you are here telling me to forgive him. What was that you said again? Please, please. Eddie will feel the same pain I felt. I will never in this life forgive that man. Well, never. Okay, she won't say that. Please, I pray you. If you man, to forgive is divine. Please, ma'am. I just wish for my going. Hey, I just want to be I beg you. Come and go now. My plantain is born. Come and go. I can even help you. Don't talk. Please go. Who should be going now? Oh, hey, please, now. Just leave me now. You're feeling woman is I don't know you, ma. Please, go. Eddie. Eddie, one never. So what it goes away. If no one control yourself at all, you get you go come, you jump, 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 this now a hollow. This now a hollow. This now a This now a hollow. This now a hollow. This now a 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 he offended this lady. He should do the right thing. Honestly, Eddie wronged her so much. But he being adamant, this is what I don't understand. For a very long time, we've been looking for the cause of this whole problem. Now that we have answers to, to this whole problem, he's adamant. Why is he frustrating our efforts? He's just being stubborn. As stubborn as his father. The same thing that killed his father. See Sharon, let me tell you. When all this started, we begged Eddie to come and marry in kitchen because of the pregnancy. He refused. He didn't listen to me. Neither did he listen to his father. We asked him to come home. We knew the condition of the girls. He didn't listen to anybody. The next thing he left order is to tell us that. He has found someone that he wants to marry. We tried so hard to discourage him. We did everything possible to discourage him, for him to see reason to tell him. He didn't listen to us. He went ahead and did what he wanted to do. So we were lost the dream. My husband could not bear him. That was what killed my husband. Edwin killed his own father. Somehow, 
now. Somehow I could blame you too for all of this. I mean, you and your mother, you should have done something. What should I have done? I said virtually everything a mother could do. I, I begged, I called, I pleaded, I cried. She didn't listen to anybody. She didn't listen to anybody until this girl lost the twin. So now you understand why the girl has made up her mind not to forgive him. I think he should try and come here himself to make it easier. That is my problem. And now he's not here. So what are you going to do? The same thing he did before. <sighs> Eddie is the stubborn type. Something in me tells me he's not gonna bluff. Sharon, stop it. Why are you saying this? Can't you be positive for your husband for once? It won't take anything away from you. Come on, sweetheart. There's always a way out. And what do you mean by that? If Eddie refuses to go with us, I suggest we get the pastor involved. <laughs> Nega, in as much as I don't believe in prophecies, I don't believe in all these pastors, prophets, whatever you call them, but in this situation now, I think, I think you're right. You're making the point here. Yeah? Really? Yes. Really, Mom? I mean, the person that got this lady offended is seated upstairs, unmoved! Whilst we sit here and be looking for a solution to get him out of the mess that he got himself into. It's... Just calm down. Okay, This is all Darling, how did it go? I'm afraid. Eddie is not yielding. I said it. Mom, are you listening to him? I said it! I know he will not! But why is he unbending at this point? For heaven's sake, we are trying to help him solve his problems. Exactly. But I don't know his reasons. He, he doesn't want to go to Nkechinyere. He doesn't. After everything I said to him, he refused. Okay. What is his point? Well, um, he made mention that he can't withstand the face of that girl because of what he did to her. You know, he's being tortured by the magnitude of what he did to that girl. Mom, you can listen. What an excuse. Listen to what your son is saying. Mom, are you listening? Mom, you can imagine. Just, 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 just listen to what Eddie is saying. Not you that I want to see. I want to see Eddie because I have so many things to tell him. Kachiri, please. Please. See, we all came here to beg you. Please. You're begging you all. The next time you come here without Eddie, I'll be forced to do something very stupid. Eddie killed my children and I will never forgive him. I will not forgive him even if the heaven falls. Kachiniri, honestly speaking, I don't know what to tell you at this point again. I don't know what to say. I've literally said everything I know I want to say. Please, be cool. He left me in that condition to get married to you. You took Eddie away from me. No! I did not. No, you know I'm saying the truth. Believe me, you never mentioned this thing to me. You didn't even mention you to me. I was ignorant of this whole thing up until now. Um, Kachiniri. Um, you know, life itself is the gateway, a passage to an unknown destination. Exactly. You see, there's no point blaming Sharon for what she knows nothing about. If there's anyone to be blamed here, I think we, should, we all should blame Eddie 
and we've all done that already. Eddie deserves to be castrated for what he did to you. We all know he has done something terrible. He really broke your soul. But at the same time, I think it's high time you let this stupid dog lie because it did have happened. You can't bear this budget forever. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay. I have known you from way back. We both grew up together. Thank you. So you should know by now that if I say no, my no is no. Okay, Chinere. I think at this point, I have to step in. We all know that what Eddie did was unspeakable. We do. But I want you to set your inner mind to see the need to forgive him. Remember, the end is human. To forgive is divine. Huh? One of my people. Enough of the sermon. I'm, I'm tired of hearing it. Oh, it's okay. I'm not just tired of hearing it. Come on, in our daily prayer, we okay, forgive us our trespasses. I still forgive those who trespass against us. Please, 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 stop it. Please. Come and go home. You must come and leave, I beg. Have my children together. Please. My name is Pastor K of Children of Life Church International. Oh, okay. Welcome. What should I get for you? Beans of plantain, or yam? Uh, um, no, no, no. I am not yet to eat. I came to see you for something very crucial. What could that be? It is about you and Eddie. Please, please, please. You don't have to do that. Please sit. Please. I I understand your hurt. I know. And um, in fact you have even vowed not to forgive him. But please free him. Let him go. By so doing, you're setting yourself free as well. I will do no such thing. Uh, please, let it fly. Please. I, I want to understand something here. Why is everybody coming to beg on his behalf and not him? Let him come to me. I want to see him. He ran away when I told him I was pregnant. And up until now, he is still running. Why has Eddie refused to come beg this lady? I don't get it. So finally, you are here. You are here after how many years? Look at you. Please, I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Please forgive me. You are sorry. Will your sorry bring back my children? Will your sorry right the wrongs you have done to me? It's not like I'm proud of what I did, but I'm here to make amends. So please tell me whatever you want. Let's let's make amends, please. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm here to right my wrongs if yes. possible. Yes, sir. No problem. I'll forgive you on one condition. Hey, just say it. Whatever you say, I will do. Just, just say it. No problem. Just say it. You will marry me and make me your wife. Hello, Mom. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I'm waiting. All right, Mom.
Echinere, that won't be possible. I'm married already. I'm married. You were supposed to marry me and not her. What do you mean that won't be possible? I know your mind, you're saying I'm a local girl, I'm very dirty. That's why you cannot do it. But it's not my concern. Hello? Neka, where are you now? Where are you and your husband? Please now, be fast now. We're here already. We're here. Please, just be fast. Oh, please. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Kachinyere, please say something else. Say something else. I can't. Oh, my wife, I'm married already. I can't, I can't marry you. Please. Forgive me and say something else. Listen to me very carefully. Hmm? I am that ball in your scrutiny. Bust me at your own peril or leave me there at your detriment. You will die childless. Kachinyere. Kachi. Get to your room. Get you. My son is so withdrawn. At this point in time, Eddie has got no choice but to make the kitchen or his wife. Sorry? What did I just hear you say? Austin, why are you of the opinion that Eddie should get married to Nkechini? Why? Sharon, I, I understand where you're coming from. I know why you're asking that question. You see, I've known Nkechini for a very long time. I mean, I've known her from a very time when we were so kids, little boys. You know, and one thing I could say about Nkechini is that she's well behaved. She's a peaceful person. Oh, really? She's a peaceful person? Then if she's a peaceful person, she should give peace a chance. Sharon, you see, you've never been in that shoes before, so you wouldn't understand exactly how it feels. I've been there before. I know exactly what she's feeling. For me, I would like to use Avenue to encourage you to begin to learn on how to cohabit with her as your co-wife. Austin, I want to understand something here. Is there a reason Eddie has to marry that girl? Because I don't even know what to think anymore when I think you're becoming so uptight. If she says that's the only remedy to the situation, do we have a choice? Of course! If you don't have a choice, I have a choice. I mean, there, there should be a way around this thing. There should, there should be some... We can do something. Sharon, come on. I just think you're becoming too uptight on this whole thing. It is what it is. There must be a way. Money, yes, money. What if I offer her 10 million naira? Let me offer her the money and see how it plays out. Don't you think? Exactly. You are right, my darling. Just give her money and she will disappear. You know, I haven't thought about this all this while. I've been trying to fathom a way out on this whole thing. Mm -hmm. I've never thought about this money aspect. Why? Now you're having a conversation. Money. I mean, for okay. somebody like her, she needs money. Go ahead and name your price. What makes you think I need your money? You can't be paying me off for marrying my husband. Eddie is not your husband. He is mine. I mean, you both were not meant to be together. Can't you see that? Save me. Save me. I mean, the reason he left you is because you're local. Can't you see? Eh? I must be thinking I'm some illiterate, right? A new slash, I am not. And, and if you're not an illiterate, so what are you doing by the roadside selling plantain and roasted yam and fish? I am a graduate whom the country has left with free. And the fact that you were born with silver spoon does not give you an edge over every other person. Do you understand that? <laughs> you can see why are you bent on frustrating me and my husband? Huh? 
I can see that this this poverty lifestyle has eaten deep into your brain. Yes. It's obvious you came here ready for me, but I do not have your time. Okay, fine. I want to give you 10 million naira and then you pay off my family. 10 million to help with your money. 20 million in continuing. Alright. Even if you offer me your both kidneys on a platter, I would not take it. Oh. Yes. Because I want my man back. Eddie is mine and I'll take him back. Really? Just 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 take a look at who I want to help. Just look, just just take a look at you. It is obvious that you want to die in poverty. Oh, because I came to your shop to negotiate with you. Look at this one. You think you're in my class? Excuse me, please. Leave before I pour you. Do not come back here again. You're my class. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. So that girl looked me in the face and told me that Eddie is her husband. Imagine, it's the gods for me. Sharon, for the record, sir. Eddie first proposed to that lady. What? That's just the truth. <laughs> Mom, I don't understand. You and I know that Eddie never meant it. He, he only said that to her just because he wanted to have his way with her. That's it. Even if that's why he said what he said. Imagine he said that to that lady. The universe took control. Forces took control of the whole situation. That's that's that that's the situation here. Mom. Yes. Are you the one talking or there was there was because I don't understand it. Wait, wait, let me understand something. You want me to leave my my husband or to allow my husband marry that thing. Oh no! That thing! And that lady you call a low life is an economic graduate. Oh wow. Yes. A graduate of economics. Mm -hmm. Oh! A graduate of South Beach and Plantain and in the near on the wrong side! Sharon is not everyone that is as privileged as you are. Oh. In, in, in fact, if I, I should advise you, I would beg you to allow Eddie to marry this lady so that peace will reign. In fact, I'm getting so tired of all this drama. What? No! Oh my God. Wait. You want me to allow my husband get married to that thing? That thing on the wrong side? Look, Mom, I made that mistake before. I am not going to make that mistake again. Is it not better you allow him to marry that lady? She will give you peace. Oh. You prefer those two witches that left this house? Do you know that was any here than that peaceful lady? Mom. A graduate for Christ's sake. Once beaten, twice shy they say, I'm not going to let anybody in my home again. No, you don't have an option here. You will allow that son to get married to Kachinere. You hear me? What are you so afraid of? Um, Sister Nkechinere, please, for the sake of God, forgive Brother Eddie and, you know, kill this desire to be his wife. Please. What are you saying? What are you asking me to do? Even that you are a man of God, I would have asked you to leave here and never come back. What is it? I thought you were here to, to even tell me that ah, okay, oh, a date has been fixed for Eddie to come and marry me. I have said this before and I will say it again. The only way I will leave that curse is when Eddie, Eddie marries me. I understand, but I am of the opinion that you should temper justice with mercy. Please. If I were to be your sister. You have buried the hatchet. Eddie is happily married. Did you say happily married? Um, listen, Sister Kachinere. Eddie was never yours. Those twins died for a reason. There is somebody better for you. 
God has prepared someone better for you. Even better than Eddie. Yes. Free Eddie and free yourself. Please. Pastor Ken, please do not patronize me. My mind is made up and I am not turning back. The only remedy to this is if Eddie takes me as his wife. Uh, it's alright. I can see your mind is made up. Oh, make sure you have a good day. It has gotten to the point where you need to seek the face of God for yourself, by yourself. You understand? Because we have explored all options available. The Bible said the kingdom of God suffered violent, but only the violent take it by force. You just need to seek the face of God concerning this matter. Go to him in prayer. And as a body of Christ, we will be with you, spiritually and otherwise, to make sure everything will go in place. Sister Nkechinere said, she must get married to you, that you must be her husband. And she has made up her mind. The only option is this, for you to go in prayer, seek the face of God, that is the only option left for you. And I believe God will answer you. The God that I serve, we answer you and as a body of Christ we will be in prayer with you hmm? it is well it is well bride thank you very much it is well
every shepherd's of him, every cause, from every source of bondage, from every source of spiritual motivation, from anything that is not your glory upon my life, may it be put to shame upon the name of Jesus. Mighty man of God will destroy every cause. It's not your glory. Destroy every cause, whatever is coming from. But as I said, you find it. Father, we will dismantle their cause in the mighty name of Jesus. We render their causes useless in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I decree freedom upon my life. I decree salvation upon my life. I decree peace upon my life. I decree love upon my life. I decree freedom. Understand this. The Spirit of God. Joy that comes from above. The light that shines bright. Amen. The love of Almighty God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I will not do. I don't. I don't open this gate. I don't know you, and I will never. I can never. I will not open this gate, though. Never. Okay. Now look, man. What is going on? Hello. Okay, one, one girl like that, though. You know, say girl called the enter the house. Say give them. Sorry. Uh, say, I say I know we'll open it. You are going to open gate. It's okay. Open the gate. Okay. Okay. Yes, both.
Sister Kechinyori. To err is human. Mm -hmm. To forgive is divine. Please, forgive the family. Remember, there is someone special out there for you. Please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Sister Nkechinyere. <coughs> you know her? I don't. What God said he would do, he has done it. Mm. Yeah. What God said he would do, he has done it. Praise Master Jesus! Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is your husband. Hey! This man standing right here is your husband. Oh, thank you, thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This marriage is over. And that's it. Nothing changes, nothing redeems it. This joke of the century. <laughs> In the there is no way. Heaven knows there is no way I will continue to share my matrimonial bed with a woman that cheats and a daughter's wife. I cannot do a thing like that. Hey, <laughs> what is this woman in a man's body talking about? Oh my what God. are you blabbing about? I am <laughs> Have you have forgotten that you are one minute man, so when men are talking, you don't talk. Nothing. Oh, really? You are shameless. Okay. In fact, you are more than shameless. Honestly. Seriously. Seriously. Yes. If you don't leave my house this minute, I might end up doing something you would regret. I might end up carrying down an axe that will be considered as the height of being stupid. Leave my house this minute. On a more serious note, Austin, you are, you are shameless. You are more shameless than I thought, my darling. Austin, on a more serious note, what is this fuse all about? Oh, you want to know? Yes. And I'll tell you. You think I don't know that you have been bringing a man to sleep with on our matrimony? A gigolo that you have been paying all this while. What do you take me for? A fool? Austin. I can take anything from you. 
But I will not take you accusing me for what I never did. You gave it to my face and still lied to me? I don't understand what you are never doing. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, hold on, I'll show you this. I'll put you here that you are chased. Hold on. Never! Okay. Never! Alright, alright, don't worry. I, don't you, worry. Sir. I know people like you. Hunk out of marriage but empty of commitment. Oh. I'll show you this. Who is this? Who is this? A shameless wife of a mother. You are shocked. Listen, this is the end of this marriage. You are living this minute. Darling. Oh. My sweetheart. Oh, really? It's, it's, it's not what... Explain. Yes, I, I can explain what transpired. Just do what you think. Can you keep your explanation and tell me exactly how many times you have slept with this man on a matrimonial bed? Hey. Tell me! Hey. Um, um, hey. Um, I, I have lost count. Lost count of how many times you slept with the man under my tree, under my, under my roof. Listen, listen. For whatever reason, this marriage is done, and I'm done, and I'm done for good. You are living this minute. Women like you are all over social media, hung out of marriage, but deeply empty the whole week. You are living this this minute. My, my sweet darling husband. Finally, please, in your heart, forgive me because yeah. remember what the Bible said to err is human, to forgive is divine. Because you have yeah. broken my soul. Ah. The moment you decide to sleep with another man outside, you have destroyed everything that you ever own as a man and woman. Women like you are on social media looking for homes to find themselves in, hung out of marriage, but deeply emptied of commitments. You are leaving my home this minute. It's, it's, it's because of. It's because. Sending you out of this home. We are gone. Get out. Women like you are all about social media. How kind of marriage but deeply empty of commitments? Go out of the place you are living. I am not joking right now. I am going to move your things out of this house. Man. I wasn't two minutes I, man. I, I'm a changed person. You're a changed yes, person? Yes, I will not go anyhow again. Please. It's too late. Please, please, why? I don't know. That's the get you to get and leave this house. It's me or it's me. I am not joking with you. I'm gonna I don't I don't touch you. Okay. Take your things and get out! Why I'm begging you for the last time. You think I'm joking? I'm 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 so sorry. Oh, okay, 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 fine, 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 fine. fine. If I must go, eh? Um Anything that is go with the children. Eh? What are you saying? Women like you can never raise anything good. Oh. You're hungered of marriage but deeply emptied of commitment. Listen. No, no, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me at least go with one. You can keep the other person, the other one. People. I should let you go with one of my children. Women like you will never raise anything back to society. Please, please. Hungered of marriage but deeply emptied of commitment. Please. Just give me grandma, I don't send anything here wrong. I'm not a little back right now. I was not a little back. 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 I was not I I Go back to that class you want to leave. Ipata, 